Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at zero and negative exponents. Before looking at zero exponents, we need to review the quotient of powers. We can use an example, a squared divided by a squared, or a to the second power divided by a to the second power. The base is a. We would keep the base, a, and subtract the exponents, 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So for the time being, let's say that a squared divided by a squared is a to the 0 power. Now, let's give a a value of 3. We can replace a with 3 and make this a, uh, I'm sorry, 3 squared divided by 3 squared. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, so this quantity becomes 9 divided by 9, and 9 divided by 9 is 1. This proves that a to the 0 power is equal to 1. This gives us a 0 exponent rule. For all values of a except 0, a cannot be 0. A to the zero power is equal to one. So in other words, if I raise negative three to the zero power, I get one. If I take um, one to the zero power, I get one. If I take 10 to the zero power, I get one. If I take 2000 to the zero power, I get one. So it only works except zero to the zero power we cannot do, that is undefined. Let's do some examples. In this case, seven is definitely not zero. In order to do the rest of these, we have to assume that x, y, and negative three, x to the fifth, y to the fourth, none of them have a value of zero. If none of these things, these numbers being raised to the zero power is equal to zero, then we can say that x to the zero is one, y to the zero is one, seven to the zero is one, and negative three x to the fifth y to the fourth raised to the zero power is one. Notice how when I raise a quantity to the zero power, I do not get zero, I get one. In order to explain negative exponents, there's a pattern that we can observe. Two cubed is equal to eight, and here's our proof. Two squared is four. <coughs> 2 to the first power is 2. And we have just uh, proven that 2 to the 0 power is equal to 1. Before we go into our negative exponents, let's look what happens as our exponent of 2 decreases by 1. It cuts in half. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. We lose a power of 2 each time. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And now, extending this pattern, we have 1 divided by 2, or 1 half, and 1 less than 0 is negative 1. So 2 to the negative first power is 1 half. Now, if I were to write the denominator as a power of 2, 2 is 2 to the first power. So let's compare these two quantities. 2 to the negative first power is not a fraction, but this is. You need 1 as a placeholder and the fraction bar. 2 does not change sign. The base does not change sign, but 
when you change the location of 2 to the negative first power, the exponent changes sign. So 2 stays the same, but the exponent changes sign to positive. If we divide by 2 again, we would have 1 fourth as our answer. 2 to the negative second power is equal to 1 fourth. If we look for the power of 2 that gives us 4, that's 2 squared. 1 over 2 squared. So to convert this into a positive exponent expression, we would put 1 as our placeholder, the fraction bar, the base, and the positive exponent 2. Let's do some examples now. Well, actually, before doing our examples, let's look at our rule. The negative exponent rule. a to the negative nth power. If a is not 0, this negative exponent becomes positive the second you put a in the denominator with 1 as a placeholder. So a negative exponent in the numerator becomes a positive exponent in the denominator given that you keep the same base. And don't forget to use 1 as a placeholder. So let's do some examples now. c to the negative fourth power. We would use 1 as a placeholder the fraction bar, keep c as the base, and negative 4 becomes positive 4. 1 over c to the positive fourth power is your answer. Here, we would put 1, the fraction bar, keep the base of 3, but negative 2 becomes positive 2. We're not done yet because this is a number that could be simplified. 3 squared is 3 times 3. Or 9. So our answer will be 1 9th. 4 to the negative third power. We would put 1 in our fraction bar, keep the base of 4, but change the exponent negative 3 to a positive 3. 4 cubed can be simplified, so our answer will be 1 64th. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe and goodbye.